Hello, AB Animations Midset here. And in this video, I'm going to show something that I've been working on in my spare time. Generally, while waiting for videos to compress or upload, I um, work on this map. As you can see, I've built what appears to be a bunch of buildings made out of iron, and it's a kind of a role play idea I had for a futuristic city on another planet. Now, part of a role play here is that um, the planet supposedly has no oxygen outside, so as a room any cacti and reeds, there's still a few dead plants around. I ain't got time to get rid of those, but basically I started this a few weeks ago. Um, it's basically a city, quite new. Uh, there's colonists here. They've arrived on a spaceship. They've built this um, big base. It's got all these different modules and sections. And here we are. Welcome to Colony Base Alpha. Um, this is role play ideas go. Whenever we're outside, we're supposed to be wearing spacesuits. But since you can't equip clothes in creative, where I've got a thing. Yeah. That closes the airlock. Um, Um, as you can see, it's populated with testificates. Um, they kind of get in the way. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just going to show you around this um, base thing. I made it. it's a base colony on a different planet with r certain roleplay elements. Um, it's your entry office, kind of like customs. People who arrive at the base. Well, well it says sign in here, that's what you do. Um, I've then got this um, kind of like a, a walkway into the centre of the base. And to each side we've got some shops. Here's Alpha Base estate agents who sell housing. This is just a mic. Yeah, that's better. Um, and this here is a place that I've named Astley's Food Store. And it's a little bit of a nod to the Yonks cast. Uh, they had a character who was, a who was actually a creeper. Uh, <coughs> uh, in one of their Shadow of Israfel episodes, he's creeper in a house who was called Mr. Astley. And this is a bit of a nod to them. This is Astley's food store. Not any creepers inside, by the way. We've got this warehouse here with all these food stacks up. And he, he's like the main merchant in this futuristic city. There's a private quarters up here. He's like a, an entrepreneur. Making a living, yeah. Um, this used to be the base's um, dining room, a canteen, but as we got um, a food store and apartments, people start living in their own personal apartments rather than dormitories. We didn't need a canteen anymore, so these are generally just spare rooms. So uh, let's go back down here. I'm going to show you the residential module now. Residential module 01. I've organised this into floors. Basically, there's um, lots of rooms just like this one where um, citizens of a base live. Uh, two bedroom apartments, and two bed apartments. But, um, they organised one A, one A, one B, and you could go all the way up. Um, there's an extra room there, which is actually. In the undersides of this, this is a cheap room, but it's, it's like a, it's not worth much. You can, it's like because of this location in a nice location, it's like in the bowels of the base. All the windows you just see like metal. You go get a lovely view of the desert. Um, this is the most expensive bedroom. We've got some family bedrooms around here, which have um, some single beds and a double bed. Um, here's like a fire escape airlock. Doesn't really need any What I really want to show you is um you can actually see out these windows and just go back down. Yeah, I've been working on this in my spare time, like I said. I started off with that simple module and uh, ah, yeah. Uh, did, I just, did I make a weird noise? Um, <laughs> strange noise that. Um yeah, this is the environment dome. Because this is on a planet where you can't survive outside, 
We have to have something in the base that produces oxygen, and that's what the trees are for. Um, no one has actually set up their own farming enterprises in the base yet, so that's still um, the council still runs all the farming in the greenhouse. But anymore, why can't I? Yeah, that's better. If anyone wants to um, come here and set up farming, like grow um, the farm. There's plenty of space, there's plenty of space for rent. Um, go in there, isn't it? First, I just want to show you the ground floor. We've got a... Um, this is a storage room. Oh yeah, just down here is the mine. I mean, we've got to make money here at the base, otherwise we can't build new things. And we extract some minerals out of the mine here. Stubbly nose, sorry. Um, the guy's been stuck in there for ages. Oh, probably because he is, um, you know, might be able to get out now. But yeah, that's a mine, that's where we extract minerals. Now we load up to cargo ships and take back to Earth. Should that be Minecraftier? Take it back to Minecraftier. And uh, so we'll get money. It's, yeah, no, it's roleplay. It's kind of daft, but this is something I do with the next time. Um, Power room for each control room is here. Basically, the controls for the electricity. And that lab tool in there was the site of our first geothermal power station. We've got a new one now, it's much better. It's out in the desert somewhere. The lab tool's still there. Okay, this sound here is. Um, I want to do that last. So excuse me a minute, I want to show you. Um, I've got a few corridors here. And here is the still residential module 02. A to B, you get the idea. They go through floors. And we've got a storage room eventually. For tools and stuff in these chests, it's going to be put to a different area for the base. Um, okay, this here is. Oh god. Why? Get out of. <laughs> That's. I just hate it when they do that. Um, this is basically the greenhouse. Um, this is basically where we get our food supply from. And as you can see, at least we the greenhouse. So, back through here. I'm not sure where this is. Oh, yes, this is a landing. Yep, this is the laboratory. Really small room. I don't do much in there. This is like one researcher. His job is to research the stuff we find on this planet, and we have found some stuff here. Okay, here's the control room of the base. It's not the admin centre, like where all the secretaries work. It's basically the uh, life support and utilities are controlled up here. It's also an air traffic control tower for the ships like that. It's kind of based on science fiction um, genres like Star Wars. Doctor Who, you know, it's a communications room here, it's controls the radar dishes. And here is the cantina, like a bar really. And there's a cantina in Star Wars as well, which is of course what this is based on. It's got a stage here where musicians can play, it's got a bar, lots of tables and chairs, and that's basically a different way to get into residential module 2. Partly drew inspiration to this base from something like a game, I think I've mentioned it before. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic 2, actually. Um, again, what's this way? Oh, yeah, that's basically like landing where the laboratory was. Two doors. It's here, there's a reception desk. This is admin. This, we've got offices where secretaries work. <laughs> We've got two floors of officers. And higher up is the governor's um, office. And, uh, that's, that's who I am. <laughs> um, kind of like a governor. I built this place myself. It's not multiplayer map. As I've said before, I don't play multiplayer. Uh, that's my desk. And my private quarters are right up here. It's got this um, four poster bed. Well, it's supposed to be a four poster bed, but it failed. 
Uh, the, I also have a secret escape route for this. It'll be behind bookshelves. Secret escape room, which leads up into the very top. Uh, it's got a secret control room up here. Oh, it's got override switches and stuff. But only I can control. So, there we go. That's a quick look around my futuristic base. Um, I was just saying, I got inspiration from this place from South Sites from the Public Zoo, where there's a planet you could visit called Telos. Uh, there's this huge space station in orbit around Telos called Citadel Station. Uh, I don't know if any of you have played that to be on the public. But it's a bit like this base. It's got residential module, entertainment module, hangar bay. And I've got a hangar bay. Yeah, that's my next job. Um, oh yeah, one last thing. This is basically for the power lines. Electricity runs along these. You might expect. And I did a lot of exploration to actually find a good lava pit under underground. And see, the problem is, the only way I could find this was flying out to sea and I had to swim underwater and go through this little hole down a waterfall. And it was just a load of obsidian. I dug away the obsidian and we got lava. And I've managed to find it apart from lava what was above the, the part of lava that was above the surface rather than above the sea. So I drilled up and built a power station there. And this is lava, this is what we get our electricity from. It's geothermal power. So there we go. Um, there is one more thing, if I can find it. As part of a role play idea I had for this. Um, of course, Oh, uh, this was uh, basically um, a cavern I discovered while drilling this shaft here. Um, and further up, uh, uh, let's see this way. Oh, no, no, wait, got it. Oh, yeah, we've got pipes and generators and cool, awesome stuff. Oh, never mind. Um, and there's a bit of an outside view of the base. Quite good, isn't it? If I say so myself. <laughs> um, yeah, it's something I'm going to work on, maybe, in my spare time. If, I've, if I'm waiting for another video, in a few weeks, I might show you how much space has come along. I'll have lots of new rooms. Oh, um, this is basically an actual cavern that I found. Um, and, uh, Colonists here have discovered something strange. They discovered some sorts of archaeological ruin. It's very strange. So, those researchers are pretending that they don't know much about this. I know, I know it's a dungeon, but. Oh, this is, I don't know it's a dungeon. So there we go, that's something I do in my spare time. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm probably running out of time, so uh, I'll cut out here. Uh, that's all now. Oh, that's, what I'm gonna say. that's all for now. Bye bye.